How to use Kapwing Video Editor Kapwing Tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get started with the Kapwing Video Editor. So let's get into it. Now, everyone knows that Kapwing is a online video editing tool. It is one of the smartest video editing tools and really resourceful for people that are just getting started with video editing. Now, all you have to do to get started with Kapwing is go on to kapwing.com and then you're just going to click on get started over here and this will open up the Kapwing Video Editor. But before I get into that i will show you guys what are the different basic tools so you have the basic video editor you also have a meme generator you have a subtitler you have a add audio to video resize video trim video convert video smart cut effects to video so all of the other video editing tools but these are just some of the major tools that Kapwing offers now we are just going to click on get started and you don't even have to sign up you don't have to put your email in or anything like that all you have to do is click on get started and this will open up the video editor so you can click on upload or start with a blank canvas so we're going to start with a blank canvas but you're going to upload whatever video that you are looking to edit now once you do that what you're going to do is you're going to click on uh, you're going to see on your left side you have all of the tools that you're going to need to add stuff to your canvas and then on your right size you have things like canvas timing versions and then on your bottom you're going to have a preview of all of the layers that you add to your canvas and the timings of those layers so to get started what we're going to do is i'm going to choose a one by one canvas because let's say i just have to um go and create like an instagram post so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to click on videos on the left over here and i'm going to search for a makeup video or something like that let's say i'm making a post for some you know uh Instagram page or something like that and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this video over here and This is like a simple video like this. So before I do that, I'm going to add search for glitter and in the video section once more so this is just the video section and I'm going to go into into the video section. I'm going to search for makeup glitter so just to be a bit more specific so we're just going to search for makeup and I'm going to take this other video over here as well to see how this one looks. So we're just going to take and load these videos, a couple of videos that I've opened up and I'm just previewing how these are looking currently. I'm not actually, you know, uh, deciding on these. I'm just going to take a preview of the different videos. So. I'm just going to wait for these to load up and obviously if you're uploading your own content it's not going to take that long but if you are taking media like i am from the video editor over here it might take a little longer for you to load this kind of content so it might be a bit annoying for certain people but you can see this video over here i'm just going to play and see how this looks and yeah i think i'm going to join these two together so i've joined these two and you, just, you guys just saw how i did it so first when i loaded both of these videos these were in two different layers so you can see these are in two different layers this is my first layer which is this one and this is my second layer now instead of this i want to make this into one larger video so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this first video and i'm going to click on trim and i'm going to choose the section that i want from this video so we're just going to take a look at the video. Yeah. So I just want the section from here to the end. Yeah. So I just want this section. I'm going to click on trim and then I'm going to select the first video, like the other video at the bottom and I'm going to click on trim and I'm just going to take a look at this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on. Yeah, I think this is in like fine i'm going to click on trim and what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this video and click on the speed and i'm going to make it faster so i'm going to go with a 1.25 speed so now this will move faster if i take a look it's going to be slightly faster so what i'm going to do is i'm going to move this i'm just going to click it a left click and move this up and now instead of having two distinct layers i have one layer and this is what the overall look is currently like like this 
So this is what the video is currently looking like and I'm going to speed this up a bit as well. So after that, what I want to do is I want to add a want flawless skin and then after this video switches, I want want flawless, uh, want flawless lashes or something like that. So for that, I'm going to click on text on the left over here and I'm going to click on, uh, I'm going to use indie flower text and I'm just going to click on want flawless skin question mark and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on light over here or dark outline like this and i'm just going to expand this so you can see on your bottom left or on the bottom preview you will see the text up here as a layer as well so it has been layered over here just like that and then after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a second text layer, which is going to be from the same font. So I'm going to take another Indie Flower text and I'm going to place it on the same layer over here, just with a slight gap like this. And then from this, I'm going to change it to want flawless eye makeup question mark. And then I'm going to move this to the top. And I'm going to add the dark outline and I'm just going to expand this as well. So you can see I've added two basic layers onto my video. And if I go and drag this preview editor, you can see this white line is my preview. And if I play this video, so this is what the video is currently like now. After that, you can click on more videos and you can add that. Or if you want to add more effects, because I can add more videos, you guys understand how to add videos. But if you want to add something a bit more niche, like elements or shapes, how do you do that? Well, on your left, you have videos and within that you have elements as well. So you have different shapes, backgrounds, you have circles, swipe up. So you have different things that you can add, which is powered by Jiffy. So any kind of uh, cute illustration, so we can add heart so you can search for hearts over here and you can add whatever kind of gifs or video animations that you want like this i'm going to click on lock ratio like this so you can add whatever you want and i'm just going to search for question mark like this and i'm just going to resize this over here and i'm just going to expand it to the video so I've added this new element to the video that was not initially present within the video, but it fits pretty well. So after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, search for sparkles in the element section. And I'm just going to take a look at some of the different sparkles over here. And I'm just going to scroll down. I think these look nice. So after that, what I'm going to do in the eye makeup version. So over here, if I go into this section, I can add this over here at the bottom just so it looks a bit more interesting. And you can add more elements as you go, whatever you feel like fits the overall aesthetic of your video. Then you also have different templates. So if you want to place this within a certain frame, you can do that as well. And once you have completed all of these edits, so right now my video looks pretty good. It looks like a pretty nice Instagram post that I can post onto my blogs or any of my Instagram pages. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on export project and then I can click on export as a mp4 to download this video. And that is how simple and easy it is to use Kapwing as your video editor. And Kapwing is available for free with no watermarks on three exports per month. Then you have the pro version where you have $16 to pay per month, which is billed annually with no watermarks for unlimited uh, exports. So you can export six gigabytes of files and you have a one hour export limit. Then you also have a Teams version as well. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.